What is up, guys? Welcome back to Brick Age Studios, and even more LEGO Star Wars 2017 winner sets have been revealed. Uh, as I'm sure you guys know, the Rogue One sets for this wave were already revealed, and I gave my thoughts on those in a separate video. If you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check it out in the description below. Anyways, the three sets I will be expressing my thoughts on in this video are The Phantom, Duel on Naboo, and Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. So what do I think of these sets, guys? Honestly, I have to say, Duel on Naboo is my favorite out of the wave, just because it's the first time we've gotten a Duel of the Fates set. And I have to say, they absolutely nailed the build, in my opinion. This is going to be great for display, just because it captures the scene in such a unique and fun way. Oh, and it's also a great way to get Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul all together in what I assume will be a cheap $25 set. The only thing is, I was really hoping we'd get an updated Darth Maul variant in this. Uh, unfortunately, it's the same one from 2015, and honestly, I wouldn't mind so much if the 2015 variant were actually good, but that face print just looks so awful, if you ask me. Moving on to the Phantom, this is another great set, probably my second favorite out of these three, and uh, the only small nitpick I have is that maybe it looks a bit small compared to the actual vehicle in the Star Wars Rebels show, but other than that, love how this came out. The minifigures are the best part, however, as you get Blind Kanan and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Those are going to be two very sought-after minifigures. And Chopper is a decent minifigure, nothing new or exclusive, but still a good inclusion. I have to say, though, I am disappointed that Thrawn doesn't have red eyes, because that is a pretty essential part to the character, if you ask me. Other than that, though, another fantastic set. And then Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. Uh, I don't know if I want to say it's the worst out of all these three, because I really do like this one. It's my least favorite, but I still really do like it. I don't know, it gives me hope that we'll see more Clone Wars sets in the future, because honestly, I got the impression that when the Clone Wars series was cancelled, we were done getting Clone Wars sets. But since this, in fact, is a Clone Wars set, it gives me hope that we will see more in the coming years. Anyways, uh, I have to admit that the overall shape and size of the fighter is a bit off, but other than that, I really love how it came out. Yoda and R2 are both minifigures that we've gotten before, but still very nice. Anyways, guys, that does it for my quick thoughts on the three newly revealed LEGO Star Wars 2017 winter sets. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please just take a second and hit that like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every day, LEGO news, LEGO reviews, and more, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, keep on building.